It's a war. You don't know whether or not you're going to win the war. You don't know if you're going to survive the war. You don't know if the project's going to survive the war. One in eight women will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. Cancer, it's a formidable enemy. The disease yields its secrets very grudgingly. It was an emergency. It was the first time in my career when it was that clear and staring me so much in the face. While I understand that Herceptin is awaiting FDA approval in the near future, I unfortunately do not have time to wait. I want so much to live and do not want to die. It was also people who had something profound to say and were making a difference. science that people have been talking about mattered. Herceptin, with that project, we turned the corner in the fight against cancer. Scientists are never satisfied. Scientists never say that they're done studying something, that it's all figured out. A, A, A. There's a reason why cancer has been around for millions of years. It's a tough nut to crack. We're going to have to pick away at it bit by bit, but that's happening. The goal is to stay alive until they find a cure. And that's what the hope was with Herceptin. In order to beat an enemy, you have to meet it face to face. You have to see it and you have to know it. And for the first time now, we can and meet it on the grounds, you know, where we can win. A lot of things have to go haywire in order to convert a normal cell to a cancer cell. You know, that process is profound. Through our intellectual imaginations, decipher the molecular pathways and then saying that we're going to go after those kernels of truth and we're going to intercept that. That's quite a big deal.